Hello everyone, I've got fantastic news for you. I am back, yay. And I've got awesome things to show you guys. So um, I do have a Minecraft project going on at the moment. Actually, I've been like working on it, on it in December and then uh, forgot about it again. But uh, it's close to be finished and uh, hopefully going to show this soon. But today I have got two different things to show you. And uh, first of all, uh, let me show you it this way. Um, <laughs> a parcel arrived that I ordered in early December. Yeah, it took two months. Uh, I've got uh, the, a new 3D printer, the Creality CR10S. And obviously I'm not going to show you um, everything, how this is built up and so on, because there are tons of YouTube videos out there already. But I do have something special and that is, um, I have already thought about how to encase this whole printer because um, yeah, most people say that the heat bed does only allow for like 80 degrees and it's not enough for ABS. But um, I've got some materials in order to insulate the heat bed and I've got a really cool idea. Uh, I've been looking around on eBay and other sites for ages to find something uh, as a proper casing to be really cheap and I've got... Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, something really cool I'm gonna show you now um, and we'll try out how high temperatures I can reach with this so uh, let me show you quickly what I've got so we are next to the workshop uh, on the side I don't know how to call this garage and this is it I know it's huge so uh, I don't know I think these are called flight cases and but I got it for uh, 45 euros and uh, you know it's pretty huge uh, and we've already prepared something for it, and that's uh, insulation on the inside here. Uh, it's some styrofoam, and uh, we uh, made um, a second floor in here. And maybe you can already see that there's a transparent backside. So let me get this one out really quickly. Uh, so first of all, a back door, which is secured by pretty strong magnets. So uh, self-made, obviously. We extended this case here because the printer actually has a really huge build volume and we needed this in order to fit it in. I hope it's gonna fit in because I only took measurements from online. If somebody did <laughs> measure it wrongly, then uh, this thing, it has to be rebuilt. Hey guys, so about a few weeks later now, we finally got a working printer and it took me a while. So we are in a different place. Uh, this is at my apartment in Frankfurt where I study and you see, come closer, um, that we've completely had to modify the printer case in order for the Creality CR10 to actually fit in there. Uh, first of all, the measurements that I got from the internet were actually just from the frame itself. So you need an additional few centimeters at each side in order to fit, have space uh, for the vertical uh, motors and roller bearings. And in order to fit the printer in, <laughs> I had to actually uh, cut out all the foam. Let me just uh, get rid of the stuff here. So these are lots of failed test prints, you can see. But they are not actually failed. I tried, just tried different settings in order to optimize it. And, and now I've got good settings. I just didn't uh, clean up this mess yet. Um, so just about in a second. This is, by the way, a self-made headlamp. It's, uh, incredibly bright <laughs> if you turn it up all the way about one and a half thousand lumens but i think i showed this about a few years ago already so here we go so by now this whole case has three openings we can open the back door but uh, if you open the garage it actually closes the top again now you can see that in order to get the printer out you actually have to lift up these uh, wooden uh, beams here they are just there to keep the uh, door still working and um, yeah it was quite a lot of additional effort and it, this looks a bit ugly it's now a permanent uh, temporal solution but it works and now the surprising part so uh, first of all this is um, uh, this is also a temporal permanent solution by now uh, it is a bike uh, how do you say um, um, in order to repair bikes uh, uh, and yeah I don't know what you call it, it doesn't matter because the original spool holder wouldn't actually work first of all there's too much friction on this secondly it was too small for the big spools and th third because of the 90 degree turn and the high printing speeds I get uh, there was actually so much friction that I had constantly had filament skips so I had to turn this to the side and I'm thinking about making a better solution to this which is attached to the printer maybe I'm gonna do a separate video about this so right now the printer is heating up 
And now the interesting part. Does the interrelation work? And the answer is yes, it does. It actually reaches 95 degrees quite easily. It takes about 20 minutes to get there, but uh, you can get to 95 degrees and I just set up my printer so that it starts at 95 degrees and then after the first layer it turns up the heat to 110 degrees, which is the optimal temperature for printing ABS and it eventually reaches 110 degrees, but it takes a lot of time. Doesn't really matter though because 95 degrees is already working very well and it's just uh, heating up the whole build volume over time. I'm thinking about increasing the insulation at the top a little bit, but right now it's already working and um, yeah, I'm preparing for the next print here. So once it's set up, I can also show you how well it's already printing and uh, then that recaps my video about the CR10. So again, you can see there is actually uh, on the printer, on my model, maybe you can see it if you take a look at it from the bottom, there uh, was a pre-built a pre-made insulation foam uh, below the glass plate. I don't know when this was added, but this was actually already uh, in there by default. And when the printer is warm and has been running for a while, you slightly notice that the sides here, especially above the glass door where there's a little gap gets warm, and the thinner insulation parts as well, and the top is also not cool. So uh, that's why I'm thinking that I can probably make a better insulation up here since there's only this thin plate right now uh, and I will see if I can improve the results further. So uh, in the future I'm going to make some more 3D printing videos and uh, aside from that I as I mentioned I had a Minecraft video planned and maybe some MATLAB stuff. Uh, so if you like that uh, yeah you can continue to see my videos and I hope you uh, all yeah, continue watching me in the future. Goodbye and see you next time.